Hello and welcome back to Lego City Undercover. This is Bio Enchanted and we are we have quite a bit to do this time. So let's get in our car and head off while we're waiting for the story to load up. I I might I repeat might need your help. I couldn't find my dad in any of Chan's other offices. So I decided to try a salvage yard and now I'm stuck in here. What? I was desperate. It is my dad, Chase. What if Chan catches you? That won't happen. I'm completely hidden. Oh! <gasps> hey, whose feet are sticking out from behind my curtains? Help! Natalia? Natalia! And there we go. We have our plot. Have to rescue Natalia. I need a favor but first and of all, not know about it. Name it. Natalia's in trouble at Chan's junkyard, and I'm gonna need backup to get her out. Natalia Kowalski? What are you up to? It's a long story. Can you help? Sure. I know a couple of officers who don't mind going behind the chief's back. I'll tell them to meet you outside the salvage yard, and I'll get them to bring a disguise. We don't want Chan recognizing you. Thanks, Ellie. You don't know how much this means to me. So yeah, first we're going to get a lot of stuff out of the way here, because this area is really annoying to navigate. So first of all, we're going to get a few character tokens and also a few more collectibles as well. This one's a new one. Now that we have the astronauts here, we can interact with these boxes. And a good chunk of these boxes, while well, some of them will just spawn like teleport pads and other things, this one will spawn something a bit new. Alien invasion! We have to capture this alien when it lets us. It kind of has to kind of load the chase a little bit, but there we go, now it's properly started, we can actually handcuff the thing when we catch up to it. Which is how we complete these little objectives, like so. Yep, we're just taking care of a few illegal aliens, Not, no big deal. Those are pretty fun. Uh, they're one of the chasing things I don't mind too much. These were annoying as hell, though. There were three of these. Each of them has three basketball things. And we have to play all nine basketball things. Which can only be done once we've painted all three of these uh, sets. Luckily, only the red one of each set's not painted. But uh, having to play basketball nine times is really annoying. I'm only going to show the first and final one of the basketball games, and also show me painting the other two of these so you know where they all are. Because you get the idea. And over in this corner, we have this little bouncy castle, which is a cute little mechanic. I quite like that, that's just pretty fun. This is just me remembering where everything is. <laughs> and over here, we have this little thing a very suspicious blue and white object. I'm going to need some balloons, so let's break that. Uh, this area is kind of is very gimmicky, as you may have guessed. It is just gimmick after gimmick after gimmick, and it's the only place in the entire game those balloons actually appear. This is one of two, only two times in the game you'll ever jump on balloons, and both of them optional things in this area. We'll see the other one much later. But it's a really annoying mechanic, because it's really easy to accidentally fall off. But first of all, let's just explore around here. So I thought there was a character token up here. So let's head up there just to show off getting in that building and what's actually in there. And what looks like a gym, which is quite nice. It's like, okay. We're in a planet of fitness, I guess. But the all that's really in here is this brick. Even for the left, there's just nothing in there. Just a super brick. But at least we've got some more super blocks, so that's nice. One thing that is in this corner though is quite nice. As you can see that little uh, ATM machine over there. So let's break the ATM. Now that I've broken the rules of grammar. <laughs> that one's kind of hidden. It's cheeky. It's right in the corner where you can't really see it unless you're facing it. Naughty ATM machines. So over here, as you can see, over in that courtyard, we have another set of basketballs, so let's paint them. And of course, as you may have guessed, I'm going to be doing these three off-screen as well. So those, just consider those three done now. As we head down here, to find a few other collectibles we can deal with. For starters, this super build over here, because I figured it'd be interesting to show this one off, so let's just do it now. We have plenty of bricks. 
and while I am saving them for something later, I know exactly how much it costs and we have plenty. So let's just uh, have a little treat and build this and get a new character token at the same time. I quite like the octopus, it's a pretty neat little uh, super build. Uh, generally, I quite like these kind of super builds that give something really interesting and whimsical to look at. They're a lot of uh, fun to watch and build, because you never really know quite what's going to be there until it's built. Around here, there was a few other things to get to. As you may have noticed, that character we can't get. Those balloons are kind of annoying, because they require, as you have seen from the balloons around this area, they are in four different colours. Each of those clusters of balloons that need the colour gun have a different balloon missing. So you need to get a different colour for each one of them. Which is kind of annoying. That's why I'm glad I got the super colour gun because it makes it much less painful. And over here we have another kind of uh, thing we can do here as well. We've got a lot of nested things going on that we're just kind of doing as we come across them. So I can't remember where each of them are, so I'm just kind of seeing what of each thing I can find in this area while I'm just exploring around it, because it's quite scattered. But yeah, we have three tested strength machines we can play with as well. So let's take care of those two. This area, I like it in principle, because it's very unique. But the problem with the uniqueness is it becomes very gimmicky as well. It's an odd part, this is, really. A lot of colour gun usage and a lot of mini games, which means a lot of button mashing. And as you may have guessed from the different colours on the basketball things, they are actually different speeds. Green slow, yellow f uh, medium, and red really fast. The red ones are really annoying to do, and luckily I don't think we'll ever have to do any more basketball ever again in this entire game. That's the one place in this game that is actually necessary to do that. But that is something again that I mentioned earlier that I quite like about this game is that it kind of it gives you a bunch of mini games that are optional, but it for each pickup you tend to need to do the mini game at least once, so you kind of get an idea of how they all work and all the different ways you can interact with the world, even if you don't bother doing it in every single one of them. So that's pretty nice. I like his little flex after he does that as well. That's cute. I mean, I like this area a lot in general to explore because it's very varied, but it's when you're actually trying to find stuff, it just becomes a lot of overwhelming empty space with a lot of objects that are just things that we can play with but not yet, or things that just don't have much purpose, like all the big star balloons around the area. But yeah, this area has the most infuriating character tokens, but here we go. Finally, the final one of these. Yeah! So with all the colours, doesn't give us a character token, but it gives us one of those, which is fine because it's a uh, it's a beta kind of mini game. But here we go, the final one of these as well, number nine. And yeah, it can be easy to accidentally screw up if you use to a faster timing on the slow ones or a slower timing on the fast ones, which is why I hate doing these basketball mini games. Doing it nine times is just far too much for a mini game that isn't much fun to do. I'm sure you're gonna probably cut all those out now. But there we go. There's the final one, and with that, this actually has another purpose now that we've got the uh, thing from here. So let's grab the character token from there now. Because I believe before what was there was a super brick. But it's interesting that they kind of stack, double stack things on that little roof. It's like the only place they really do that. Everywhere else it tends to be, each area has one thing that's there. You don't really tend to double up on hiding places like that. It's a very unique thing for it to do. Here we go. One more time on these ceiling stunts and we have the Gorilla Suit Guy. That's a cute one. And yes, yet another guy we saw at that party that we crashed. So that was pretty nice. And coming over here, we have a final set of balloons to deal with before we can move on to saving Natalia. You may have noticed the mission has... the music has stopped. That's because after a while of ignoring it, the missions actually kind of go away. And you need to allow the uh, phone call to recommence. And in some cases listen to the entire conversation again, but in this case it just gives you a recap at the end of it uh, f to kind of remind you of what you're meant to be doing. 
but uh, it kind of uh, it despawns the uh, mission start thing until you do that though which is kind of annoying but here we are let's actually start the second uh, this mission now the proper story mission to rescue Natalia a chance scrap yard meant to be here by now Hey, Chase. Okay, Studsky and Clutch are here. Where's the lady in distress? Clutch, Studsky, thanks for this. Natalia's in Chan's salvage yard. The chief arrested some of his gang earlier, but he's still got a lot of heavies in there. Do you have a disguise for me? Do we ever? <laughs> that is perfect, Studsky. Really? They belong to our friend Huggy. He has no sense of personal space. Let's go rescue this girl. Come on! I'm gonna have to take these things off. I like studs getting clutch, they're just the right kind of stupid. <laughs> but yeah, here we are, scrap your scrap. They're cops. Yo, go and warn the bus. I guess the softly, softly approach is out of the. This area's got quite a lot of combat, actually. So let's just take care of these guys, and then we can properly explore this level. This is another level which has two screens, but those two screens are really big ones. No, I mean I get really bad headaches from ice cream. I tell you anything if you threaten me with it, especially mint chocolate. <laughs> right. Or they could make her drink loads of soda pop, but she'd get trapped wind because ladies can't burp in public. My mom does that all the time. Your mom ain't no lady. Yeah. Oh, I thought of another one. They could. All right. That really isn't helping. Ooh. Ooh. I like how snippy they get. Ooh! I like, I like the perfect diamond that waveform made just then as well on the Yodassi. That's pretty funny. I did not expect that when I did that noise. I need to get that gate open. So yeah, here we have to find three uh, fuel cans so we can get to uh, activate this fan. It's a weird mechanic because I've never heard of it. Well, it could be run by an independent generator. It's just a weird design for it though. It doesn't look anything like you really expect. But I do like that you get a unique chase suit for this level. It's a pretty uh, fun suit as well. Unfortunately, it's not what you officially unlock ever. It's just kind of a skin for this level. But it's kind of a cute one. No wonder it's in a scrapyard. Maybe it's a diesel powered washing machine, you don't know. So here we are, the final one of these. <laughs> so there we go. This is one of those mechanics that shows up like here and never again. This particular one coming up, not the one I just did, that one shows up literally once more in the entire game. Uh, but this one, there's this hey, weird kind of rolling around on this roll. weird thing. <laughs> it kind of counts it as a vehicle, but it's just kind of a dumb one. That only really has purpose at that moment. Wow, my English went all over the place there. <laughs> but yeah, there's a good lot of sweeping out of here. Uh, we can't break that car because that's something else, so let's uh, find another couple of things to do instead. While we have the super color gun, I'm not going to use it to cheat too badly in these levels. We're going to try and show off where you're supposed to get each color 
in the levels, to be fair to the level design itself, really. I don't want to break the levels, at least until I'm going through it in the uh, post-game, just collecting all the stuff that I missed. Otherwise, I kind of want to show you how the levels actually flow. Jeez. Oh. How much fridge space do you need? That was weirdly timed, because of when it uh, triggered that line, but there we go. I like that dog, he's very tenacious. Good job, dog. You're doing a well done job. He's a good boy. So let's give him a treat. He deserves it. His own little house. Oh, I think he likes it. I like the little skin as well, that's really cute. Very realistic. If you're a cat. <laughs> a lot of dogs do that as well. The cats are more prone to skidding. Yeah, I actually did not notice that safe. That's kind of embarrassing. I'll do that in the next one, though, I guess. I literally just noticed that safe right now, talking over this video. So, here we go. Let's uh, deal with this water that's electrified right now by pulling the generator out of it. And then we can activate it properly now that it's no longer in the water. Well, once we've got the uh, right colour anyway. As you may have noticed, it behaves weirdly when you have the super colour gun in that it just changes it to the same colour. Because it just automatically notices you already have that colour. It's kind of weird. So let's finally get around to building this. I'm sure you can probably. Yep, car crusher. I'm sure you probably guessed that that was there. That's why we also can't break the blue car because we need it. And I quite like the uh, shields in this area with the uh, build breaking the uh, red cars and then uh, opening that kind of hidden safe. Oh, the hidden safe was kind of low effort, but I guess you just went up hiding places. Now that is what I call a compact car. Ooh, I can use it to get up onto that pile of junk. It rolled weirdly there. Like a rugby ball almost. Or well, if you prefer an American football. Let's take care of this guy who's been taunting us from the beginning of the level. There we go. I'm just gonna finish him off. He can't climb after us, he's basically out the level at that point, but I just wanted to make sure and now it's time to screw up platforming again. Because this game's platforming, uh, generally the other game's platform can be a little finicky. Uh, if you're not perfectly on something, they just won't quite snap and they'll slide off like that. It can be very annoying at times. Especially during some of the free ones, it can be a disaster. This is a weird building block, I don't know why that's even there. There's not really much point in it being there. Remember. Scrapyards are dangerous places which shouldn't be played in. You hear me? Good luck getting over the grinder! <laughs> I dealt with boulders. Falling cars, while they're falling much faster, are not really much of a challenge, especially with the much shorter distance. Let's release a few blue and white pieces now so that we can do something fairly obvious with them. <laughs> I mean, certainly from the layout of the view, you'd actually expect a little pad, but these walls are fine too. That's a subtle arrow. <laughs> I like the big red arrow, it just uh, points to a big sign saying chance. So, these are actually a little bit different, it's not just breaking the four vehicles now, we actually have to rebuild them into other things, which is quite neat. Then I told him the security code for my bank card. You told me he threatened you. Yeah, with more tickling. So you're really ticklish, are you? Don't even think about it, Clutch. You already know my security code anyway. You still haven't changed it from your birthday? <laughs> so, yeah, to my twin sisters. They've obviously got a bit confused there because the security code in England isn't the PIN number at all. In England, the security code is a small three-digit code on the back of, a, of the credit or debit card that you use. 
that identifies, uh, well, the card pretty much in a more un in a uh, secondary unique way. It's always three digits long. Maybe I can use those cards as platforms. It's not much use in case of card theft because, of course, the boat the robber would just turn the card over himself. But there we go. Well, yeah, let's get to this thing now. Once we've broken out of it again. It's kind of weird. It feels like it could have just like smashed your way in there, and, but there we go. It's probably more because you wouldn't think to break them to get in there when you first go into the level. So that gives you a very obvious way into the area, and then it's just about breaking out later on. Because that's actually very well. You literally can't see it behind the boulders. You likely wouldn't think to break them to progress. See, it looks kind of like what a capture token would be. Oops. Well, those two are losers anyway. Let's just take care of this last guy. I'm wondering if quite like as the levels go on, it gets more and more easy to get like everything in a level, which feels really good when you get like uh, beginning of the game. You have like no meter filled. You have like maybe one shield if that, uh, or like half a shield if you can get that far. Uh, then you have like maybe one character token and then you have like a bunch of other stuff that you couldn't get yet. Then when you get halfway through the game all of a sudden you finish a level with one character token, one vehicle or two even. Uh, three out of the four shields and a red brick. It feels really good to kind of get that kind of building anticipation for finally being able to clear out a level in one go. A teleporter built out of scrap? <sighs> if I come out the other end as a fly, I will not be happy. That's not how that movie works, dude. You need to watch that movie, Chase. Uh, well, I've only seen the Goblin one. <laughs> guys. Well, at least my head isn't on backwards or anything. Oh, well, that would be easily fixed. You made a Lego, mate. Just turn it back round again. Good cop, bad cop. That was a cheap shot. Cheeky man, I was handcuffing your friend. There we go. Yeah, that can be a bit of a problem if you get stuck in an animation and you end up being unable to. Alright, just hang on. Oh, sorry. Poor choice of words. It's what's kind of annoying because Natalia just doesn't stop whining at you, but that got us another shield piece. They're building that fourth vehicle out of the scrap vehicles. That was the final one of that set of things, which I'm probably sure you probably were able to guess, but. I figured I'd clarify because you didn't actually see it happen because it went off screen because Natalia started whining. It's like, we're right here, dude. We're, we're going to. It does not ingratiate you to the character, really. About time. Oh, sorry. I mean, thanks. I just need to find the Let's finish this. You gently. Yeah, that wasn't it. There we go, we've saved Natalia. Oh, oh, he made me eat ice cream. Hold it! Oh. Studsky, let's make ourselves scarce before the chief shows up. See ya, Chase! Thanks, guys. And you've got to keep out of this, Natalia. I'll find your dad. I promise. I don't want to see you get hurt. Okay. Okay. Stay out of trouble. I will. Hey! Starting from now? Stusky and Clutch, because I've never actually seen the original Stusky and Hutch, remind me more of Driving San Francisco than anything else, which is a fantastic game that I really like playing. So there we are. It's always nice to see all these things just showing up when you get them as well. It's a satisfying kind of uh, pump whenever you get gold bricks, which is generally a lot of the sound effects and visual effects in these games are fairly satisfying for collectibles. You feel very... Mm. Like you've really done something when you get one. So let's see what he wants. 
because of your blundering around in Chan's salvage yard, he's disappeared, which is gonna make it somewhat tricky to arrest him. But I had to rescue- I don't wanna hear it! I'm transferring you to Sheriff Huckleberry's department in the forest until we've cleared up this mess. Does he need our help with solving a case? Ha! Doubtful. His district has the lowest amount of crime in all of Lego City, which is why I want you there, so you can't cause trouble. What about the Fury investigation? I've put my most highly decorated officer on the case, my protege. I like to think of him as the son I never had and who looks nothing like me. <laughs> if anyone can get results, it's him. And here we are, in a lot of trouble. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.